Well, I am certainly not musically inclined, so I'm not even going to try to play this trumpet. But this man here next to me, John Gimberling, is musically inclined. He's got 37 years of trumpet playing experience with the Great Falls Symphony to prove it. But as much as he loves playing his instrument, he feels now is the time to focus on other musical endeavors. <laughs> For anybody in the in the symphony world, staying with one orchestra um, for a long period of time, which that that definitely is, is is kind of out of the ordinary. Musicians, if they're comfortable, they'll stay and they'll stay. But in this day and age, everybody's always looking for another gig or a better gig there, and it's not like I'm looking for another uh, job. I've got things that uh, are keeping me busy. I'm just looking to ease off a little bit. As much as John Gimberling will miss playing his trumpet with the Great Falls Symphony, the people is what he'll miss the most. The symphony uh, for both my wife and I has really become a family. Um, you know, we've seen people uh, uh, come and go, but you get a chance when you're sitting elbow to elbow with them, um, you know, week after week, and, um, and you get to know each other and appreciate each other. Interestingly, he says he didn't choose to play the trumpet. My mother um, actually went to the music store and because her father had played cornet in a, uh, um, uh, what they called a factory um, company band. Um, back in Minneapolis, she just bought the cornet and brought it home and showed it to me and, and my brothers and uh, yeah, you know, what do you think? And I said, yeah, it looks, it looks nice. And she took it out of my hands and said, good, you start lessons next week. <laughs> so it was, you know, not of my choosing, but definitely one of the best things that, you know, that ever happened. His last performance with the symphony will be the symphony's last show of the season on May 21st. In Great Falls, Colter Anstad, MTN News.